Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. So today I've got a kind of informative video for you. So one resource that you may want to consider if you haven't already is your local library. Now one thing people often don't realize is that most public libraries actually carry comic books. They don't have the single issues, at least I've never seen them, but they usually have quite a few hardback trade back books, so they'll have collected stories of comics. My local library is in a really small town, and even though the population's really low, there's a fair amount of comic books there. It's a couple shelves of, of them, so that's really nice. And I think especially if you're just getting into comics and don't want to spend a lot of money, that's a great way to start out. And they usually have a pretty good selection. I've read most of the ones that my library has available. So here's a few examples of what I found on the shelves today and of course some of the books were checked out. So these three here as you can see we've got Batman, The Court of Owls, Blackest Night, the, the trade back for that so it's the, the story, the main story, and then they also have trade backs for the a lot of the tie-ins like Rise of the Black Lantern Corps and all that. And then in the middle here we have Wonder Woman, who is Wonder Woman. And that's got the art by Terry Dodson and Rachel Dodson. And I've read that one. I thought it was really great. And this one here, The Port of Owls, uh, was volume two. <laughs> so volume one was checked out. Which brings me to another point. They also will usually offer a service called Interlibrary Loan. And what that is, is it's a system in which one library will borrow a book from another library for the use of an individual. So if your library doesn't have a particular book that you want, they can usually get it for you. And it's a good service. I've, done, I've used it before. You just let them know what you want, what the title is, and you know who the writer is and all that and they will call you when it comes in so they have it all in the computer but they'll ask another library within their system if they have that book and they'll mail it to them and once it comes in they'll let you know so for instance since there's just the city of owls volume 2 here on the shelf i could ask them to get volume 1 and i did that with the new krypton because i believe they just have new krypton volume 2 some of the other books they had here they had superman escape from bizarro world which i've read before too it's really cool it's uh well, the story is about Bizarro, but it's by Jeff Johns and Richard Donner, who of course directed the Superman movies, the old ones, the Christopher Reeve ones. And then here in the middle, I checked this book out again, The Justice League of America Lightning Saga by Brad Meltzer and Jeff Johns. I mentioned that in one of my videos the other day, and it's a really great collection. What it is, and it's got a cover there, as you can tell probably by Alex Ross, and then it, on the interior it has a great splash page, which is probably a variant cover, but yeah, it says cover by Michael Turner. The cover art and the art within is really good, but what it is is it collects Justice League of America issue 0 and issue 8 through 12 and Justice Society of America 5 and 6 and those were published in 2006 and 2007 and the art and the writing on this is just phenomenal. If you haven't read this one I would very highly recommend it. It's one of my uh, all-time favorite collected books. All right so oh and then there, right here on the right too is um, Batman Death by design with the art by Chip Kidd and he usually just draws covers you probably know him from doing tons and tons of covers and variant covers but in this he does all the art and it's really cool and Dave Taylor's writing's really good too I really liked this story so I would really recommend any of these here and then the next group we have Earth 1 uh, Superman Earth 1 volume 2 which I kind of did a little review on the other day and then New Krypton here one of the volumes from that and then of course Flashpoint if you haven't read Flashpoint, most uh, most libraries are going to have probably Flashpoint. They seem to always have Blackest Night as well. And yeah, Flashpoint's really amazing by Jeff Johns, with art by Andy Kubert, and uh, 
inks by Sandra Hope. So, I mean, that's <laughs> that's a dream team if there ever was one. So, that's pretty cool. Oh, and there's, of course, uh, there's other, there's some Marvel books, too. There's these here. Captain America, Cast Away in Dimension Z. I read the, the two volumes of that, and I actually liked it. I thought it was really good. And the art by John Ramadi Jr. is really good. He has, he's kind of controversial. People either really like his art or they don't. And then I checked this out today, too, on Canny Avengers in the middle, because I like Rick Remender. I like his writing. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So they have DC books, they had Marvel books, and then they had like Witchblade and stuff like that. So pretty cool. So that's a resource you can use. They've got some pretty cool comics. If you live in a bigger city, they've probably got a great selection. You know, <laughs> if you want to get into comics and don't want to spend a lot of money, it's a great option. Or you just want to save some money and don't want to have to buy another trade back, I would highly recommend checking out your local library and seeing what comic books they have. All right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me out a great deal. And thanks for being a part of DC Fans United. End of line.